Previously, I'm... In last episode, Team Avatar finally found new way to spend their life. They were smugglers, now they are bounty hunters. They want to win Emperor's trust and help slavers to control the bandits and lowlights. They capture boss Simeon, cannibal wizard, and slaughter several goats for no reasons. Avatar can do anything, right? Welcome back to the show. The trail of Korra, the non-bender is on and we are going to see how many bounties we will capture in this time. Since you are not able to enslave me, let's have fun with you. As you saw earlier, Kora and Mako taken down the Simeon while uh, Naga alone attacked the Grand Wizard. So far, so good. Kora wants to make sure the land of Empire is secure. If not, we do whatever we can to make this land secure, make the Emperor happy. We are here, we need to take down some ninjas, maybe we can get good money out of it. An unwanted guest. Okay, we are good to go. Our first raid on sand ninjas begins. We are seeing that they don't want to join that make us stronger since we have Master Rogue Armors and we are improving our martial arts. Also we have Naga to do whatever we can do. On our way back to United Cities, we found several rebel farmers trying to defend their freedom against the Manhunters. While we see several slave traders joining this battle, this will increase the odds of slavery for these guys. Yeah, sure. Where is the police chief? God. Finally I found you. Here, give me the money. Oh, these manhunters we saw earlier, they arrived. This is the second time that we are attacking the sand ninjas. Naga went inside fighting with four shinobis right now. Ah, uh, miscalculated. Five shinobi right now. Can't deal with them alone. And ninjas are now hostile towards me. Good. Because they won't live any longer. That's it. We won. Nice shot, Naga. Good girl. You made everything possible. We looted an armory and we are here to sell all the items we found in the armory. We we'll start moving towards south, actually southwest where the Sheikh Kingdoms rules. Once we become strong enough to attack the Sheikh Kingdom, we will be their enemy too. But for now, we will work for them get some bounties, more cats for the avatar. Avatar needs to have an enormous fortune and make love with her bank account. So right now we are attacking the car, the chosen, these warriors are really ruthless and strong. But for our stat, they are not fought. Good, we now have reinforcement from the nomads. Where is the bounty? There should be a bounty on your head. We didn't find the bounty. 
we came for we go inside see if we can find him or not I hope the nobody helped me to clear the floor and kill any shake who serves the car right now we are too weak yeah we are stronger than the 20 days ago when we started to get the bounties but as you can see we are still at the middle of our levels which is not totally great and all these levers are more than uh, I would guess 80 to the 90 and the Tempest is more than 100 having uh, 12 bonuses to I'm talking about the martial arts which mine is over 60 and uh, the Tempest have 112 uh, martial arts skills that is really rad a skill in the game is the best uh, martial arts artist in the game so when we are going to engage or to fight with him we are really in need to using a lot of uh, arrows I mean bullets on my crossbows and also there is a harpoon gun in the border of the city which is on the mountain last time I went there as a friend uh, so I know their location and I'm going to use the harpoon guns this time I guess the uh, tin fist somehow I need to lure the guy out of his house and then I start shooting with the harpoon guns while the Mako trying to get the attention of the uh, tin fist finally after all we tried the bounty is dead and we are going to receive half of the pride better than nothing so we are out of here now we need to search for the berserker since we are going to have a, a conflict with the berserkers i need to clear my inventory once again and then we are heading toward them maybe we find something in our way and i want to add it in my inventory after we take care of the berserkers we are going to attack the uh, anti-slavers but i'm not sure we, i'm going to make it for today or not but well, I'm gonna uh, start my war with them and it will be really huge war between uh, Team Avatar which uh, three of us going to fight against them maybe if fa we fail we start recruit several people and start training them to make sure that we be able to fight against anti-slavers See, I told you, berserkers are not worth it to give a shot. They are more like the rebel farmers or dust bandits. But we just wanted to clear this place. With our current stat, we have nothing to talk about against Tinfis. Tinfis can kill us both if we don't use armor. And if we use armor, we cannot fight because he's faster than us. Which is making this guy is one of the greatest, uh, uh, you know greatest boss in the game so anyone starting fight against Team Fist should have a lot of ammo to be able to take care of this guy another guy we are going to take care of is Catalone which right now we are not really worried about the second empire and their emperor which living in the Ashland down there in the southeast so right now we are not worried about them but we are going to start war against Team Fist, which is going to take at least more than 60 days, I guess, to be able to take care of this guy. If we were lucky, and if I was lucky, and I born lucky like that, I will, I will be able to do that. But right now, I'm really not sure I will be able to take care of Team Fist or not. Let's give a shot and see what happens next. After we give these guys to the, uh, I don't, I don't know, the, the hundred guardians, something like that.
we are moving to our destination, the place that we can find anti-slavers. Since I am allied with the traders and slave traders, and also, uh, yeah, that was all of it. Slave traders and uh, traders. They are not friendly with the anti-slavers. When you be allied with the anti-slaver, you will lose your friendship with this guy. The strategy of fighting against the anti-slavers goes on their weapon they are using. Which you can see in the border, they are using three harpoon guns up the top in the building, which are using for uh, some reason if the crabs attack them or if the slavers get near to their position, they will defend themselves. But the point is, most of the time, they will be unused. So you can use these weapons and use this strategy against them to kill whoever you want in the anti-slavers faction. I'm not going to use the harpoon guns against this anti-slaver, he's just a bodyguard, but they also have almost a specialist to high grade, uh, you know, uh, dust coat on, their, on themselves, so they're not totally useless. Also their stat is high too, but we have the armor, they won't be able to do much damage on us. This story is not the same with the Tempest, I'm telling you that. He can destroy everyone. The reason that I'm talking about Team Fist like this because Team Fist uh, is a skeleton and the skeleton's body is full with the armor. If you put the this dust uh, coat on them and put this dust coat on the level of masterworks with the samurai pants, this guy will be totally unstoppable, which give you 12 percent, uh, 12. Uh, you know 12 level boost on your skills and this will be really hard to deal with you so Timfist is really god in the game because he has a normal armor and also he has some kind of boost for his uh, fighter style and he's a skeleton the skeletons uh, can really be annoying since you cannot cut the, um, them with your weapons or katana or any weapon this will be really hard to fight with the skeletons who have uh, hundreds of levels with his uh, martial arts and dodge it will be really hard you only have an option using the harpoon guns and the crossbows this will be able to destroy the guy uh, we are going to back to United States so I guess I will be end this episode around here make sure that you are subscribing my channel and like this video the tale of avatar Korra I mean non bender Korra is still on and we will continue this tale for at least 300 days.